Hi boys and girls, are you ready for some fun? We're going to continue learning to see what else lives under the sea. We're going to be drawing a large umbrella and we're going to be playing head and shoulders. Are you ready for some fun? Let's go. Hi boys and girls, do you like this? We're under the sea. Now, remember about the shark? It can live up to 100 years old. And the crab has 10 legs. Now, do you remember the octopus? How many hearts does it have? Three hearts. Let's see what else we could see under the sea. Oh, I see a seahorse. You like it? Now, a seahorse, the reason why they call it a seahorse is because look at the head. It looks like a horse. How cute. Now a dolphin. Oh, look at the dolphin. Now a dolphin, they talk to other dolphins. And you know what sound they make? They make a squeak sound. They're able to communicate with each other. Oh, let me see what else we're going to see. Oh, I see the stingray. Oh, I'm scared of a stingray. Now a stingray loves to swim at the bottom of the sea. And it has wings. You like them? Isn't that cute? I love being here in the sea. Isn't that cool? What else do you think is here? Go find out. Ask mom and dad. Maybe you could read a book about it, okay, boys and girls? Now, boys and girls, there's other things that live under the sea, like seaweed and seashells and coral. So there's many things that live under the sea that don't have to be a fish or a shark or a seal. Okay, boys and girls? So have fun. Go find out what other things you can find out. Look what lives here, okay? But have mom and dad help you, okay? You can even go on epic books and find things about the sea there, okay, boys and girls? I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Here we are with the letter U. Now, the letter U has two sounds. The long sound, U, which is U, and then the short sound, which is U. Uh. Are you ready? We're going to think of words that start with those two sounds. But first, I want to write the letter U. Capital U, up. Uh, down and come on down a little tail and then the lowercase u you're gonna start like in the middle up down and a little tail that's the letter u first sound let's do the long sound which is u let's think of some words that start with u unicorn ah unicorn starts with the letter u and has the long u sound let's think of another u sound for long how about Oh, I know one. It's a unicycle. Now, let me explain to you what a unicycle is. A unicycle is like a bicycle, but it only has one tire. Isn't that cool? Now, let's go to the short sounds, okay? Now, the short sound for you is uh. Let's think of some words that have the sound uh. Huh, how about up, up. Yes, up. You go up. How about umbrella, umbrella? Yes, that is really cool. Now, boys and girls, this other word starts start with the letter U. Let's see if you could think of some, okay? I'll see you later, bye. Hi, boys and girls, are you ready to write the letter U and draw something that starts with that letter? I'm ready, let's go. This is what you need. You'll need your paper that says the letter U on top. Remember, it has the square and the lines. You're gonna need a pencil, and markers because the markers are to draw something that starts with the letter U and here we go so the letter U first line let's do capital U ready simple start from the top go around stop right here and make a little tail how about if we make five U's okay so that's one two three four and five I think that tail is a little too long, so I'm going to erase it. I could fix my mistakes because of the eraser, which is really cool. Now, let's, start, let's do lowercase u. Let's also do five lowercase u. Now, remember, it's smaller, but it still looks the same, right? So, top to bottom, around, and tail. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh oh, that one is not touching the line. Should I do it over? Let me do it over. Erase it. Let me start again. Ooh, 
much better. I like it. Now, remember the two sounds that you make. Long sound is you, short sound is uh. So are you ready? Let me think what I could draw with the letter U. I would like to do an umbrella. I think that's cool. I am going to use, oh, do, do I have a, oh, I do have a black marker. Here you go. The handle, I'm gonna draw the handle first. Now the handle looks like the letter J. Look at that. Whoop, the letter J. <laughs> Here we go. Now, I want to make a, let me do, let me do the blue for the outline of the top of the umbrella. Umbrella, that's a short sound. Ready? Okay, oh, here we go. Look, my umbrella. I want to make a polka dot umbrella. So we'll use different colors. Red. Pink. Ooh, I want yellow. Yellow. Green. Let me see, let me see. Oh, brown. I don't want to miss any of the colors. Um, what am I missing? Am I missing? Uh, oh, orange. Guys, we can't miss orange. Okay. Let me see. Oh, purple. I'm using all the colors, guys. But you can make whatever you want. Now, boys and girls, that's my umbrella for letter U. Now, remember. Think of a word that starts with the letter U and draw it inside the square. And take a picture of it and put it on Schoology, okay? I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Are you ready for story time? Today, we're going to be reading There's a Walrus in My Bed. Now, boys and girls, a walrus is huge. I don't know how it's going to fit in this little boy's bed. Let's find out what happens over here. There's a walrus in my bed. Look at them. Walrus is brushing his teeth and a little boy. <laughs> Flynn was very excited about sleeping in his new bed. But there was one rather large problem. Do you see the large problem that he has? The walrus on his bed. Oh boy. Mom, Dad, there's a walrus in my bed, said Flynn. You must have been dreaming, said Dad. But there really, really is. You know it's naughty to tell fibs, said Mom. Flynn sighed and went back to his bedroom. Uh-oh. Now the word fib means lies. They don't like when he lies. But he isn't. We saw the walrus. Didn't you see him? Yes. Flynn was trying to squeeze into the bed when he heard a very loud noise coming from walrus's tummy. Rumble. Are you hungry? He asked Walrus. Rumph? said Walrus. Flynn wasn't sure what walruses like to eat. He hoped it wasn't little children. No, oh, I hope not. I don't think he's going to eat kids. <laughs> Flynn, it's far too late for snacks, said Mom. But they're not for me. They're for Walrus. Flynn told her. Walrus ate all the snacks. He didn't seem hungry anymore. But he wasn't sleepy either. Achoo! Mm. <laughs> Look at all that. Do you have a cold, Flynn asked. Rumph, sniffed Walrus. Sneeze, Walrus. Look at that. Ugh. Flynn got some extra blankets. Look at the blankets, guys. Look, Mom and Dad are like, oh, what is he doing? Walrus started to get hot and cranky. Oh, dear, said Flynn. You must be really sick. Rumph. Squeeze Walrus. Oh, he looks like he is sick. But look, he's taking, Flynn is taking care of him, listening to his heart. And he has his doctor bag here. Oh. Walrus, it, Walrus isn't feeling well. He needs a glass of milk, said Flynn. Perhaps Walrus shouldn't have been in all those snacks, Dad muttered. After drinking the milk, Walrus had to use the bathroom. I know you're a little nervous about your new bed, said Mom, but isn't it way past your bedtime? It's not me who won't go to sleep, grumbled Flynn. It's Walrus. They're not believing him. <clears throat> and look, he's right there on the door. Oh, <laughs> look at Flynn singing to him. 
Okay, Boris, that's enough messing around, said Flynn. I'm going to sing you to sleep. Huh? said Boris, who still looked wide awake. Look up. He is wide awake. Look at him. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, oh my gosh, all this sound. There's noise coming from Flynn's bedroom. Even the cat. Is the room too dark? Rumpf. Or too bright? Rumpf. <laughs> Morris is confused. Are you scared of monsters? Rumpf. Or do you have an itch you can't reach? Look, he's scratching him. <laughs> Flynn had a long, hard think. Maybe what you really need is... I wonder what he needs. Do you know? I don't know. I'm going to find out. A cuddle. Walrus closed his eyes, gave a great big yawn, and finally fell asleep. Flynn snuggled down beside him. Oh, look at that. All he needed was a cuddle, and he's holding his, his rabbit. But there was still one rather large problem. Uh-oh. The bed just wasn't big enough for both of them. Flynn tiptoed into Mom and Dad's bedroom. Uh-oh. Mom, Dad, he whispered, can Walrus sleep in your bed tonight? If we say yes, will you promise to go to sleep? Asked Mom. Flynn nodded. Yes, they both shouted. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Flynn stretched out in his soft, warm bed. Night, night, Walrus, he said. Ralph, said Walrus. And at last, everyone could go to sleep. You think they could go to sleep? What do you think is going to happen? He's going to mom and dad's bed. Oh boy. Well, almost everyone. <laughs> Look at the walrus. Look at mom and dad. They can't sleep. <clears throat> and that's the end of There's a Walrus in My Bed. Did you like that? Is there a walrus in your bed? I know there's not one in mine. Hope you like the story. I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. We learned so much today about what's under the sea. What can we find there? Today, you are going to create your own picture about what is under the sea, right? All these fishes, all these creatures. Now, these are the things that we need for this activity. You're going to need the tissue paper, a pencil, the white paper, and your three colors. I believe you have red, green, and purple, okay? Now, remember, to make these colors, work you need a little bit of water okay now please have mom or dad help you with this okay so it won't go all over so i will get my water here and i just put a little bit and i'm gonna mix it and this is my red oh this is good right guys let's see oh it needs a lot of mixing come on red yes and i got it so i'm gonna put it to the side now i'm gonna do my green just a little bit of water, not a lot. Are you already thinking about how you're gonna make your picture? I know I am. I'm gonna make a lot of rainbow fish. I wanna make a shark, an octopus. Ooh, crabs, yes. I'm gonna make all that. Okay, it's mixing, mixing, mixing. And we are finished with green. Now I need purple. Here you go, purple. Just a little bit of water, and we are ready. Mix, mix, mix. Ooh, look at the purple. Well, purple was fast, wasn't it? It makes really fast. Ching, 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 ching. Here we go. Now, these three colors, I'm going to put them to the side. Okay. Oh, look at all these little things here. And then the tissue paper, I'm also going to put it to the side. So let's put our name on top of the paper. Okay, here we go. That's my name. And here we go. Are you ready? I'm excited because I'm already thinking of what I want to do. Now, at the bottom of the ocean, well, no. Now, at the bottom of the sea, there's seaweed. And it looks like grass, but it lives under the sea. And this is where the tissue paper comes in. So I'm going to cut strips. Oh, I forgot we need scissors, too. I'm sorry, guys, but I forgot. We also need scissors, and we're going to cut them into strips. 
it could be thick, it could be thin, however you want. It could be as many as you want. This is how many I'm going to cut. Okay? And then we are going to put them to the side. Oh, tissue paper is so hard to pick up, guys. Look, it didn't want to. Guess what we also need? Miss Becca Rose has been forgetting a lot of things. Glue! Come on. Is that I was thinking about the paint and I want to color? Well, I want to paint because it's paint. So I'm going to put strip lines here so I could put the seaweed, my pretend seaweed here. Look, I got one here and then another one there. Oh, wait a minute. And another one. Yes, you like it? Okay, let me put more. Hold on, I still have more. Still have more. Oh, I want to put a blue one. Yes. And another blue one. And I need one more. Oh, I think I'm going to pick yellow because there's only one yellow here. So let me put one right here. You like it? That's under the sea. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to draw some fish. I can't wait. Okay, I'm going to start with green. Let me mix it a little bit more. And here we go. Oh, let me see the fish. I'm going to try my best. Oh, look, guys. I did one fish. Ah. Now, let me do red. I think I'm going to make a, a puffy pit fish. Now, puffy fish should be round, right? And it has all these spiky things. And look at his eye. Right? There. Does that look like a fish? I think it does, but I don't know. I tried my best. Now I'm going to do a purple fish. Let me see. Maybe this will be a long fish. Oh, do you like it? I love it. Oh, wait. I didn't do a mouth. Oh, tried it. This paintbrush is a little too thick. Okay, now, how about if we do an octopus? Well, I want to make an octopus. You could do whatever you want under the sea. Whatever you want. Now, an octopus will be like this. And it has eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Eight legs. Smiley face. Ooh. How about if we put some fish hiding? underneath here like hiding from other fish Ooh, hide maybe the shark is coming oh I'm trying I'm trying trying I'm trying oh I love it oh you know what I want I want some waves I think I'm gonna put purple waves like you know we're under the sea yeah. look at the waves here Oh my goodness, I love it. How about some corals in here? Ooh. Corals look like rocks, right? Look. I love it. Guys, I hope yours turns out really cool, and I know it will. So boys and girls, make sure that mom and dad takes a picture of this and put it on Schoology so I could see your wonderful picture, okay? I'll see you later. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. For this learning activity, we are going to be following directions, okay? So whatever I tell you to draw, that's what you are going to do. So are you ready for this? Okay, here are the things that we need for this activity. You're going to need your white paper that says, My Umbrella. And it has a line on it, okay? You're going to need a pencil and your markers, okay? And you, now remember, you need to follow the instructions that I give you, okay? Now, I am missing the green marker. Can I go get a green marker? I'll be right back. I need a green marker. Okay, hold on. I'll be right there. I'm almost there. Just looking for this green marker, and I got it. Here it is. Found my green marker, and here we go. Remember, you cannot do whatever you want. You need to follow the directions that Ms. Figueroa is going to give you. Here we go. First thing you, I want you to do, I want you to draw yourself in the middle of this paper. So I'm going to use a pencil. I'm going to draw myself. This is me. Big smile, my hair. 
So remember, you're going to draw yourself. And then I think I'm going to put myself in a dress, my legs, and my arms up in the, up in the air. I would like you to draw your hands up in the air because we're going to do something else with, with our hands, okay? You got it? That's me. Oh, you know what I forgot? To write my name. Oh, boy. I would like everyone to know it's mine, right? So I have my name and myself. Now, I want you to put some grass at the bottom of your paper, but I want you to use a green crayon. I mean, sorry. I want you to use a green marker. And here we go. Put some grass at the bottom. Good job. Good. Put my cap back on. Now, I would like you to draw um, three flowers, okay? And I want you to use a pink marker, okay? Three flowers. One, two, three. Put a dot in the middle, okay? So, the instructions was, this is the beginning. I drew myself, you're gonna draw yourself. I did the grass, it was green, and I did the flowers, and they're pink. Okay, now, I we're going to draw an umbrella. Now this umbrella has to be really big because I want everything to go under the umbrella. It starts with the letter U. Umbrella, umbrella, and under. So everything's gonna go under the umbrella, but this umbrella has to be huge. Now watch it, I'm gonna pick the orange marker, if you do not have markers at home, you can use crayons, but these are the colors that you need to use, okay? So I'm going to get the orange marker and watch this. So I'm going to draw a handle here. I'm holding the handle of the umbrella and I'm going to draw a huge umbrella. It has to cover all these. Oh, uh oh. Oh, that's a big umbrella! My umbrella is really big because it's covering things at the bottom. So it's covering things that are under the umbrella. Now let me see what else I could draw and I want you to draw too. How about birds under the umbrella? And I'm going to use purple this time. Purple. So I'm going to do some birds. Well, how about five birds? So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five birds under the umbrella. Do you like it? I love it. Now remember, this is a learning activity, so you need to follow Ms. Figueroa's instructions. So remember, you're gonna draw yourself in the middle of the paper, you're gonna do some a green grass, three pink flowers, five birds, and a huge umbrella because everything is under the umbrella. Did you like it? I hope you did. I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye. Okay, guys, now today's movement activity is going to be a little different. We're not going to have any music, but we're going to be playing head and shoulders. Are you ready? Now, we're going to do it three times. First time is going to be normal, then we're going to do a little bit faster, and then the last time we're going to do it is going to be really fast. Do you think you could do it? You think you could catch up with us? Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Are because, you ready? okay, yes, I am. But I need to know what we need to um, be tapping. So it's head, shoulders, shoulders knees. knees. Toes, eyes, ears, mouth, and nose. Is that it? I think so. That's it. Yeah, okay, right. you ready? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Ready, guys? Get ready. Pay attention. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, a mouth and a nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. That was good. Oh man. Now, here we go. A faster. little faster. A little faster. Almost Not there. that fast. Okay. So, here we go, but just pay attention. Ready? Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, a mouth and a nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Uh-oh. Okay. Ready? I think I got this. Now, it's going to be really fast. Woo! Let's see if you could catch up, Ms. Ma. I hope you could catch up. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, here we go. Let me shake my body. Shake it, shake it. And we're ready. Ready? ready. Okay. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Ah, we did it! Boys and girls, play that game at home with Mom and Dad. I'll see you later. Bye! 
Hi boys and girls, did you have fun today? It was so exciting today learning about other things that live in the sea. Like, um, uh, look who's here. Hey buddy, you wanna find out what lives under the sea? I think you already know, but I'll tell you. Dolphins, stingrays, seahorses. My favorite was the dolphin. I think they're so cute. And in our story, there's a walrus in my bed. I checked my bed. There's no porous there. Did you check yours? Hope there's none there. We wrote some words down that start with the letter U, like umbrella, unicycle. Find out what other words you could find. And we created our own under the sea picture. We drew things under a large umbrella. That was a cool one. That was a big umbrella. And in our movie film activity, we did head and shoulders. I love the speed we were going. Slow, medium, fast. My best one was the fast one. Boys and girls, play that game at home, okay? I'm glad that you had a good time. I'll see you later. Bye.